Hello, uh, this video I want to have a look at weights and measures. It's something that I keep you know, banging on about, but I think it's very important. So not just in the architecture and so many other uh, aspects, but also in society, the importance of it. Now, uh, for instance, consider our modern world and global trade. Standard weights and measures are vital. So from shipping containers to, uh, to cans, to food, to everything we do, uh, you know, the price of gold, is measured on the troy ounce. So we have these standard weights and standard measures that define uh, our, our whole society, our whole existence. And so it's not just the ruler or the scale, but it will also includes time. So for instance, uh, will the clock 24 hours, uh, 1,440 minutes, 86,400 seconds. But um, and that goes on to even so GPS and the 360 degree compass and how that applies to navigation and so there's not an aspect of our life of our modern life including on the digital world which uh, w weights and measures in some sort or another isn't it isn't being applied it's a it's an essential it's a constant uh, the um, it's it's so omnipresent it's 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 there so often that we uh, almost have lost the meaning of it the, the importance of it it's become something r rather dry we you know we overlook it but uh, again so the the importance of it cannot be underestimated in the modern world but we need to go back and as we move back so well the modern trade system and but people have been trading for a long time and the importance of standard weights and measures especially amongst merchants but uh, even well uh, the beginning of well, the railway, for instance, in England was an important turning point because it was, uh, an, uh, in the modern world, was a sort of a reintroduction to more of a, a global standard of time zones, as well as, you know, the gauges of uh, trains and engineering companies building those types of things. But going back even further and further to ship makers, it's, it's everywhere. It's, you know, you, you cannot deal with a topic without having some very important aspect of it connected to weights and measures now because it's we consider it more modern but it's actually very very ancient it's a very important part of the um, ancient world to have standard weights and measures you, uh, it's you could almost say it's as important to forming a culture or a society as what language is it binds the society together now even terms like ruler to measure but also ruler to rule over it's it's been passed on so again it's sort of it's been lost the connection but uh, in at least of a sort of recent modern period like we have for instance the Magna Carta now in terms of uh, democracy and the beginnings of modern democracy but one of the key points of Magna Carta was uh, that the nobles forced a standard of weights and measures so that the king could not just change them over time. So, you know, for instance, the size of land or the, how much gold was to be paid in tax, that uh, these weights and measures were locked into law was a very important turning point in the modern time. But the further you go back, you'll find it throughout the ancient world. So another important book of law, well um, important, the Code of Hammurabi was also about standardised laws but written into that was also about weights and measures and you know how much tax should be paid, how much compensation should be paid, what the weight and measure of those things um, are in included. So again, it, a society, a, an empire, a civilization cannot exist without a common language and without a common system of weights and measures. Now, in around this whole topic, uh, the Book of the Dead pops up very often. So usually they refer to, you know, the, um, for instance, uh, as you pass through judgment, your lies would be measured against the weight of a feather. And if you if there were too many lies, you know, you couldn't pass through. But uh, the Book of the Dead in itself has many other important aspects to it and also regarding weights and measures but also for instance the ten commandments and that part those parts of the bible can be directly you know you can see the evolution of those directly through to the uh, from the book of the dead uh, this is from the nicholson museum here in sydney it's um shortly going to be changed location new building and but anyway um so, so not just in the mystical spiritual sense and the sense of like passing through the uh you know passing through judgment into 
the um, uh, the land of the dead, but you know the importance. So, well, the, the weighing of the heart against the feather was very important because about to do with the lies you told and and your honesty and and, and these types of points. Now, you might tend to think it's got to do with um, a whole other aspects, but uh, but there's also a very important recurring theme, not just in the Book of the Dead, but going through to the Bible on the importance of being honest with your weights and measures especially because it's it's a form of theft so especially in the old marketplace you know like now uh, things tend to be bottled they're clearly labeled with their weights and measures but in the market so w whether you're buying cloth or whether you're buying wheat whether you're bu whatever you're buying uh, the importance of you know it's very easy for for the seller to manipulate the the weights and to therefore to steals and but it's also uh, an important level of trust and and kings in in sort of the, the you know the last 1000 years but going back through time have been very strict um in, about imposing these and they knew that uh, the faith in society the faith in the law or in in the marketplace was very important now for instance the Book of the Dead, Spell 125, it's basically the, the uh, books of law from the Bible, but th there are many references also in the Bible to honesty in regards to um, weights and measures. But it's an interesting read. You can find it's not hard to get the uh, Spell 125 from the Book of the Dead, and there are some interesting parts uh into there so again you can see if you sort of read through it you can see how often it's you know the ten commandments but also the large the books of law uh, as in the bible um and and other texts you'll find as well but um an interesting little point so i know the name of these 42 gods and um hermes uh trismistic tres Tresmegistus, sorry, I always pronounce that wrong. Well, uh, this is very important to the Corpus Hermetico. Her the Hermetic Code literally comes from Hermes, and it's interesting that there are 42 books in this, and well, the name of the 42 gods, and and so it's, again, it's one of these numbers that popped up also in architecture and weights and measures in regards to the modern world. Now, um, also as you read through. Uh, there are some interesting points in regards to uh, various laws and the, uh, what you have done and, and what you have not done. And again, this uh, importance of honesty in weights and measures. For instance, will I have not um, harmed the offering cattle, have not caused pain to anyone, um, I have not reduced the offerings in the temple, I have not harmed the loaves of the gods. Now, these are uh, more to do with yeah, well, with temple practice and and so forth. But uh, interesting one um, <laughs> for it, noting just on the comedic side, I suppose in the modern sense, I have not penetrated the penetrator of a penetrator. Okay, hands up. Um, I can honestly say I haven't done that. I'll skip the next one. And uh, I have not reduced the measuring vessel. I have not reduced the measuring cord. I have not encroached on the fields. I have not added to the pan of the scales. I have not tampered with the plumb bob of the scales. Now, the plumb bob is um, not only for astronomical usage, but also it's to do with the pendulum as well, which is a, a measure of time. But you know, I have not measured with the mes with the um, measuring vessel. I have not measured. I have not reduced the measuring cord. I have not encroached on the field. So you know, the, the measuring land, and I have not you know, I have not cheated with my measures of land. And, and measuring land was very important to the ancient Egyptians. The three, four, five triangles, one of these um, uh, me methods that they used to mu uh, to measure land. I have not added to the pan of the scales. Now. Where part of the world where I come from now, uh, you don't mess with scales as well. That's that can get you in a lot of trouble very quickly. So, the, again, these laws are still very, you know, you know not, uh, making a bit of a joke of it if you get what I'm I'm getting at. But yeah, you 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 don't mess with the scales. You don't mess with the rod, uh, the measuring cord. You know, um, these are very very um, important uh, parts now. Also, it's uh, interesting, sort of, I have not held back the waters in its time, I have not dammed a dam at it, at the rapids. Now, it's also interesting um, in regards to, t now, it's, yeah, like, not building a dam, uh, or, or it's still some, you know, obvious, you know, because you, you steal the water from the people down, down river, but just as an interesting side note, uh, it's, 
we can measure that we have changed the speed of the earth by building dams that's 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 a very um interesting point now i'm not going to say that's you know was uh known to them at the time and and maybe and that their dams were as large as ours or had much of an impact but just it still is an interesting little point that we're we've literally changed the speed of the earth uh, by building by building uh, so many large-scale dams and it's we can you know measure that now it's, it's very slight but it is um an interesting little point on the side so you can see like here we'll spell 125 book of the dead how I've, how many things connected to uh, the books of law in the bible but especially this concept of not manipulating the weights and measures so not just in trade with your other people but also in uh, offerings in temples and and so forth now for instance the uh, famous incident uh, in the uh, bible in regards to the money changes now they were uh, not directly well they weren't tampering with the scales but they were abusing weights and measures and so that's also like another interesting uh, side note so the egyptian book of the dead spell 125 in particular um, but the connections to again how it's been passed on and uh, like a common theme so you know how often for instance uh, even Sumerian the Ark of Utnapish Tim how much it connects to New Jerusalem and you can see this uh, persistence of these uh, not just stories but also very like the topic I'm most uh, interested in is weights and measures because um, they're so tangible and um, and so those who might be skeptical it's what well, it's, it's a hard argument to for them to deny because we, we, these are things that can be measured literally which is the basis of uh, our modern secular scientific world but uh, Leviticus 1936 so even well there are many references dozens and dozens of references uh, throughout the um, uh, Old Testament and New Testament as well in regards to honesty in um, in weights and measures uh, Leviticus was it uh, 1936 um, and also well, uh, also in Proverbs so a false balance is an abomination to the Lord but a just weight is his delight so uh, you know not only has like a, well, a literal law but also as a description um, as a uh, a, a way to just you know the connection between t tales of morality but also how they you know are, are described in a sense well you know being honest in your weights and your measures at this being a fundamental of of a, of a just society as well uh, Proverbs 2010 is, is just again one of many others so for instance differing weights and differing measures the Lord detests them both so that you should be using uh, honest measures so you don't have one f uh, for your own use and then you basically using a sly measure on the side or that you're separating the people according to different me that the weights and the measures used should be um, across the scale uh, no pun intended uh, Deuteronomy 25 15 again another example you must have a accurate and honest weights and measures so that you may live long in the land of the Lord your God is giving you well I, I, again so not just literal sense in the law but also in tales of um, morality and how you should deal with other people this is an important point so for instance in um, well on the level this is like a one of these key phrases in in um, well masonry for instance you even see that they're using the uh, the level and also like the plumb line to you know to you know the had to be at right angles you know that's another um, meet on the level part on the square again so to be square to be level these are you know it's been passed it's it's built into our language so these things that are very much connected to construction masonry but you know also weights and measures and measuring tools and, and how they are honest devices and if you live honestly you know you're very you know, quite literally in a moral sense and in the literal uh, sense of measure you know to, to be this is a square house again just another one of these terms so um, on the level square these are all d directly come from from masonry as in the construction but also um, as uh, the, as you progress through uh, masonry it's about uh, morality as well and about how to you know be a better man and live a moral life and well again like he sort of you know love on the square so also you'll find this um, uh, concept in the in the about how you should be you know honest with your family and with your friends and um, and uh, 
concepts, you know, such as, well, you know, honest monogamy and stuff. Are all, these are also important uh, moral lessons which go through uh, these organisations. Now, uh, Masonic Tracing Board, now, uh, you know, what, I think it's got to be one third to, to more of these are, uh, measuring tools is all over the place, you know, the square, the plumb line, um, scales, it's, you know, there's no, sh no shortage of it there. So this is also, you know, as you can see, it's been passed on through and it's built into ancient and uh, uh, biblical up into the modern day. So at the beginning I mentioned the importance of trade and standardised weights and measures, but uh, you grab anything uh, and you'll see that it's, it's in, by law, again, law and weights and measures, the ruler and rules, ex these are all connected. And you, well, you grab anything and you, by law it has uh, stamped with its weights and measures on there. It's one of, it's a, a fundamental of our uh, society. Uh, things like time, length, weight, the 360 degree compass, uh, pressure, uh, temperature, these are all weights and measures and again they you know they it's important that we have standard versions of it so even when you see the the temperature on on the weather forecast or the atmospheric pressure these are, are all weights and measures and that they're standardized is key it's fundamental to our society but it's uh, so often it's considered to be relatively modern but it's very important going back to ancient times now for instance zeus holds the orb and the rod the orb represents weight and the rod represents length. So again, weights and measures and this concept of, of uh, royalty and that it's uh, important, uh, symbol, you know, like a, or, well, also a divine symbol. Now, that same ancient Greek symbol you'll find, fr again, throughout, you know, it's been transferred it through uh, until this very day, but in the Christian world. So uh, older artworks, again, the, the orb and the rod. To measure and to wave, it's it's these are uh, hidden in plain sight, but the symbolism, the importance of it, has been generally lost over over time. Uh, well, it's like again the the Western um, Church, the Eastern Church. It's it's literally everywhere. It's been passed on, you know, f through the ages, through cultures, and uh, again, you cannot have a civilization. You cannot. Uh, have an empire you cannot have a nation unless there is st in standardized law laws by which people can live under and know their place and know what they can and cannot do but also standard weights and measures regulating an honest and f and that people can have faith in the marketplace and that one of the prime jobs of a of a uh, of a queen or a king was to regulate and to protect the, the weights and measures from coins to uh, grain to alcohol to you know, any, any measure now um, again to be stays as a key symbol in uh, any monarchy is the, the scepter and the orb or the ruler and the weight this that's, that's literally you know that's where it comes and it's come down uh, through thousands of years and you also see the, the same symbolism in these very important cities such as Sydney and Winnipeg which uh, well is you know a overloaded with Masonic architecture, this uh, occult symbolism, ancient knowledge, ancient symbols that have been passed on through weights and measures, especially in, in the um, architecture. Even the, the concept of law, this is a, you know, that a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a stable, just society, uh, the, and these, this, uh, these phrases as well, so the rule of law and the scales of justice, you know, that's again, it's, you know, you know to, to weigh and to measure, even like, you know, the, the judge measures the evidence, you know, weighs the evidence, measures, you know, the arguments, the, the, the phrase is, it's, it's again, because it, it's so common and because it's so, uh, you know, in our face, we've, it's so easy to dismiss, but if you follow the trail back, it's quite important. Now, even in uh, the constellations, the 12, you know, which again are measured, the pr procession is another system of measurement and encoded knowledge, but even so, for instance, Aquarius, the, the water bearer, but he holds an amphora. The amphora were used to set, you know, so it would be a sacred amphora, it would be filled with water, and that would be, you know, how to, how you would standardise liquid and uh, dry measures, so grain and foodstuffs. 
He also holds the ruler, which was a sacred ruler, to measure flooding, buildings and roads. Libra, another one of the um, constellations uh, of you know of the zodiac, it's, well, it's literally a, a set of scales to you know again to weigh to measure uh, things. But this is not the um, only important one. So, for instance, also if we consider Virgo, now there are many other researchers who have pointed out how important Virgo and Leo are in reference to one another and in, into uh, town plans, but also to uh, legends and symbols. So, you know, Virgo and Leo are, you know, consecrated with one another, as m many um, writers have pointed out. And for instance, in the Federal Triangle in Washington, I'll do a video on it eventually in regards to the astronomical symbols in the town plan of Canberra here in Australia, also in Astana. Uh, they have the same methods. But uh, Virgo is also a very important connection because she holds the rod in one hand and the sheaf of wheat in the other. Grains are used to define weights and the rod is used to define measures of length. So once more we have you know, hidden in plain sight weights and measures and the importance of these particular. But there's also another interesting connection in regards to that is that you, you, where Virgo is the sheaf of wheat is literally above the scales of Libra. So we have, you know, we use grains to, def you know, still like when we talk about our ounces, for instance, the troy ounce, which is used to define gold and silver, etc., 480 grains. Grains are also used to define the inch. So they are free barley corn per inch. So uh, cross references there, but drawing to an end now, you, again, these, you could go on for quite some time in regards to this, but it's written, now written in the law, it's in, in, our, uh, in our language, in, in our, um, yeah, it, it will, it, it's everywhere. And it's also uh, in a more tangible, practical sense, it's the basis of our society from GPS, time, measuring roads, measuring anything. Weights and measures are very important. And uh, with that, hope you enjoyed and have a good one.